I'm so happy to have my son Kyle reading with me in this video. Have you ever wanted to meet a leprechaun? If you did meet one, what kind of questions would you ask him? In this book, a little spot will ask a leprechaun all kinds of questions. Let's find out what they are as we read, A Little Spot Interviews a Leprechaun. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. A Little Spot Interviews a Leprechaun by Diane Alber Hi, kids! Today is your lucky day! We are going to interview a leprechaun! What is an interview? An interview is a conversation between two people where one person asks all the questions and the other person answers them. How do you know what to ask? You want to ask questions that help you learn a lot about that person. I like to ask questions that start with who, what, when, where, why, and how. Now let's think of some questions that we could ask a leprechaun. What do you think of these questions? Where do you find gold? What do you do with your gold? Why do you always wear green? How do you find a rainbow? Who do you find rainbows with? Those are great questions! But how will we find a leprechaun? That's easy! Follow me! I did some research, and most people don't know this, but leprechauns are super talented shoemakers known as cobblers. So, if you want to find leprechauns, you just need to go to their shoe store. Leprechauns don't like being surprised, so I made sure to call them first to let them know we are coming by. Also, I wrote down all of our questions so we don't forget. Hi, I'm Louis the Leprechaun. I've been expecting you. Thank you for having us, Louis. Wow! Where did you find all that gold? We don't find gold. We work for it. By making and selling shoes. Gordon gnomes are our best customers. What do you do with your gold? We don't want anyone stealing our gold, so we hide it at the end of a rainbow. How do you find a rainbow? Good question. Finding the beginning of a rainbow is easy. You usually just need to look up in the sky after it rains. But finding the end of a rainbow is pretty hard. That is why I usually take a friend. Who helps you find rainbows? There are so many friends who have helped me find rainbows. But my best friend is Unicorn. She can actually ride on rainbows. The only problem is that she's very noticeable. And too many leprechauns like to follow us. Do other leprechauns try to take your gold? They do! So now I have to paint her green with special unicorn paint before we fly. Why green? Leprechauns can't see people or animals wearing green. The paint will prevent other leprechauns from following us. So that's why you're always dressed in green. You are asking some fantastic questions. You know all about me gold now and why we like green. Do you have any more questions? Thank you for your time. We have learned so much. I have just one more question. Can we take this four-leaf clover as a souvenir? Sure. Take as many as you want. They grow everywhere around here. But I have something better. Bye. Come back soon. These are so awesome! This was the best day ever! They should make a holiday celebrating leprechauns! Maybe someday there will be! 
Can you guess what that holiday is called, reading friends? <laughs> That's right! It's St. Patrick's Day! With those kinds of questions, you're ready to interview just about anyone. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.